So are you just getting a new Labrador puppy and you're trying to work out what is it that not only should I teach them, but in what order should I teach those things? Well then don't worry because that is exactly what we're going to talk about here in today's video. Welcome back to the Femre Labrador Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could ever possibly want to know about the glorious Labrador Retriever, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Labrador companions. So if you're a Labrador lover or you're thinking about just getting your first Labrador, I promise you then this channel is for you. So start by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future upload. So this is a question I get all of the time from people bringing their new puppies into their home, whether it's a Labrador or any other breed, but what is it that I should teach my new puppy first? And I'm going to help you break that down. Now, if you didn't know, we do have our perfect puppy program, which is the program that I have developed through my years of experience to break it down step by step, every step of the way for that entirety of your puppy's first year of what to do and when to do it. And I designed that program for this very question. Question. A lot of people come into this process of getting their very first puppy or maybe they've had a dog and it's gone wrong so the next time they want to get it right and they understand okay I need to do all of these things I can deal with that I think I understand how to teach sit I think I understand how to teach recall but what order should I do those things in when should I do it what emphasis should I put on what at what stage and then I hear about these canine developmental stages and different psychological stages and it all becomes a little bit overwhelming and then things start to trail off what we want to do is make it as simple and as easy as possible to help you help your dog because what we want to do everything we do here at Fenrir is to ensure that dogs don't end up in shelters and dogs aren't getting put down so what is it that you should do first why and when now a lot of people come to this with obedience what should I teach first and okay we're going to talk about that in today's video but what I want you to understand that obedience is only one small piece of the puzzle of having a perfect canine companion we like to break it down into three main areas obedience manners and socialization you can't have a perfect canine companion without having all of those areas mastered you could have a dog that is wonderfully obedient has excellent manners but is very poorly socialized then they freak out anytime you go out into the real world and those manners and obedience are worthless you could have incredible socialization and incredible manners but with no obedience you have no way of being able to communicate your, with your dog and control your dog you get the point it's all intricately weaved in and wired and we have to do the right things for each of those sections at the right time now go into obedience which is what most people want to know i usually like to teach the dog's name first and the people need to understand that a dog's name is nothing more than a command and it's a command of i want you to look up to me for guidance and direction because i'm about to ask you to do something else that then trickles beautifully into the manners area and all the other areas of obedience so i like to start there then after that i like to very quickly quickly teach a really rock solid sit and stay because again what we can utilize a sit and stay for is so powerful across all other areas of canine ownership including socialization and manners it's so powerful a tool to utilize that I like to teach that as early on as possible after we've got those things nailed I then like to focus on heel work and recall but those things tend to take a bit longer and we want to set our dogs up for success and not rush that process so again throughout our perfect puppy program we teach teach what to do at what stage to be able to make sure we come out of the other end of it of a dog that can sit and stay beautifully will walk beautifully on a loose lead to heel and will then have an excellent recall if we ever want to let them off the lead they're the things in that kind of order that I usually teach obedience with then obviously there's loads of different tricks and high levels of obedience and it's onwards and upwards from there sky's the limit if you want to take it further than that then when it comes to socialization we have to start that early and I would rather you focus on socialization and not worry about the obedience to start with than worry about obedience and forget about socialization so I always talk about when we're teaching our dogs first we also need to teach them them to be calm well-mannered polite canine companions under all situations so we start with early and intense socialization from the second we bring our puppies home then there's manners we start with manners the second we bring our puppy home and we need to teach them so what do we teach first we need to teach them to be calm relaxed well-mannered 
canine companions. So we start that from day one as well. But in terms of obedience, we break it down in that order. Socialization, from the second you bring your dog home. Manners, from the second we bring our dogs home. That's the order in which we do things. And if you want that broken down step by step, every single step of the way with your new Labrador puppy to achieve the same levels of success that I have with my Labrador Sully, as well as the thousands of clients that have gone through our Perfect Puppy Program, then again, the link is in the description box below if you want to go and check that out or maybe even just go and read some of those testimonials from some of the other people that have had high levels of success if you've got any labrador questions whatsoever super specific questions on training behavior modification canine psychology the psychological development the history of the labrador the temperament of the labrador get involved down in the comment section below so I would love to make a video on it. So if you have that question, then I promise you other people will have that question as well. And everything we do here at Fenrir is about helping you to help your dogs so that these dogs aren't ending up in shelters or euthanized. So we can't do that without you. And we want to be here to support you through your journey. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Fenrir Labrador Show.